Hey folks, what's up? Hope you're all doing well. Just wanted to continue with my reviews from the house of Montau. Today I'll be reviewing none other than this one right over here, Montau Essential Instinct. Let's get to it. So Montau Essential Instinct was released back in 2019, yeah. created by none other than Pierre Montau. One thing that I'm not sure if I mentioned in my other fragrance videos regarding the house of Montau is that Montau bottles that you have over here, they're designed with, I think, maybe aluminium and they're really light in weight. So please be aware that if you purchase this online or you purchase it from an eBay, don't get surprised or shocked they're all the same when you far purchase the bottle brand new it's gonna feel like it's got nothing inside it and that's just the way the bottles are so that's something that I had to, had to point out in case I never Montal bottles are really lightweight none of them you can tell how much juice is exactly inside them most of the house of Montal in fact I think all the house of Montal none of the bottles are transparent so it's really hard to tell how much juice is exactly inside or left is really hard to tell you are able to twist off the cap at the top over here however i don't recommend doing so but in some more town fragrances you can twist off the cap and check how much is left in it but just something that i had to point out let's now continue with the fragrance so with montau essential instinct what are some of the notes you're going to get guys in the top you're only going to get one note and that is roasted coffee when you get to the heart of the fragrance you're going to get rose and you're going to get praline and finally in the base you're going to get amber cedarwood and oak moss those are the notes within montau essential instinct before we continue some reviewers out there and some people have been comparing montau essential instinct to this fragrance right over here, Baccarat Rouge. Now I own the Extract de Parfum version. I've also smelled the original. And just to keep things short and sweet guys, is Montau Essential Instinct a clone of this fragrance? No. Some of the notes that you're gonna get from Baccarat Rouge 540, the Extract de Parfum, is the bitter almond note, saffron, Egyptian jasmine, cedarwood, musk, ambergris, and other woodsy notes. As you can tell, there's not that much compar uh, there's not that much the same with regards to the notes in the two fragrances. Is Montau Essential Instinct a clone of this scent? No. However, in the mid, I can understand where some people would get just a slight hint of Baccarat Rouge, the DNA. But do they smell similar? No, guys, not not at all. To my nose, both of these scents are not the same this is completely different than Montau Essential Instinct so like I said I will be doing a full comparison review with regards to all the scents as for this one let us continue with the review of Montau Essential Instinct how does this smell guys when you first spray Montau Essential Instinct you're gonna get hit with the roasted coffee note how does it smell really nice the coffee in this is not like the coffee note that they have in Intense Cafe or Ristretto Intense Cafe. It's more of a really light roasted coffee which dies down and tones itself down within 10 to 15 minutes. As soon as you get to the heart of the fragrance, you're gonna get hit with a big blast, a really sweet blast of rose and praline. And the rose is a really nice, sweet, subtle rose. Black Oud from the House of Montau has a really strong, prominent rose, kind of to my nose in my opinion. A little bit of a pungent rose the rose that's in sensual instinct is nice and is sweet and I think mixed with the praline and then you get to the base notes of the amber these three notes over here the rose the praline and the amber they make this fragrance a really sweet you get a really sweet kick from this fragrance those are the two notes that are going to remain in the mid sorry those are the two notes you get in the mid and those are the two notes that are going to remain throughout the life of the fragrance is the rose and the praline the roasted coffee, like I said, dies down within 10 to 15 minutes. It can't be picked up within the sillage of the fragrance. You only get subtle hints when you smell it up close. You'll be able to smell the roasted coffee. But as for the sillage, you're not going to find it in the sillage. The base notes, again, amber and cedarwood and oak moss. Oak moss, again, is one of those notes that you're only going to smell if you put your nose really close to it. You can get little hints of oak moss, 
but again the oak moss that inky type vibe you're not gonna get that from this fragrance what I get is a really sweet rose and praline based fragrance how does it smell absolutely beautiful I love it it smells incredible so do I recommend somebody buying this yes does it smell nice yes it does is it gonna get you compliments for sure let's now move over to performance guys with performance I went to five to six sprays and I easily got three to three and a half hours of solid projection longevity wise I spray my clothes guys I at least got plus eight hours and I was able to still pick it up the next day really faintly but when it comes to the performance of sensual instinct you won't be disappointed it's a great performer who could wear this it's a unisex scent best worn in my opinion dressed up this is not a casual scent it's not a casual scent going out it's a night out you're going on a date you're going on a night out i wouldn't really say it's a clubbing scent however if you want to wear it to a club you can but it's not in my opinion it's not a clubbing scent i'd say it's more of a night out you're going you're getting dressed up definitely look into the house of montal as i mentioned before unisex however sometimes there's a lot of guys out there when it comes to the note of a rose depending on how the fragrance company does it and how it comes off to some men it can just come off a little bit feminine and i can see some men saying that sensual instinct has a little bit of a feminine you know a uh, feeling to it i myself have worn it on plenty of occasions and i will continue to wear it and i've received compliments but just so you know some of you guys out there when it comes to that sweet scent with a little bit of rose it might smell a little bit feminine to you so definitely want to try it before you buy it overall guys i really like this fragrance i enjoy it one of the good ones from the house of montal that's my quick review from look good smell good fragrance reviews i'll see you on the next one guys